Alright, so let's let's just turn on this light behind me. You see how there's a light behind here, like right here? Well, I can actually turn it down with an app on my phone called Philips Hubes because, excuse me, Philips Hue, because this is something called a smart bulb. And so it means I can control it wirelessly with my phone. Watch this. There we go. All the lights turned off, all the lights turned on. And if I, I can turn off the standing lamp right here. Hey guys, Bingo Cat here, and today I will be doing more tech support trolling. Today I'm going to be using a uh, Windows XP machine for my tech support trolling. As you guys can see, a VMware workstation up right here. Uh, this is Windows XP. I nicknamed it Windows XP for scammers. And it doesn't really have high system specs. And so I installed a bunch of junk in Windows XP. I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. I installed like a bunch of old programs. I installed a bunch of trial programs. And I'm going to go ahead and let one of these fake tech support trolling guys go ahead and remote into my Windows XP machine. I use this often. Don't worry. I'm so if I log into Windows, first of all, I get this wonderful notification. Windows XP support ends on April 8th, 2014. And first things first, I'm probably going to have to uh, reinstall VMware Tools. Oh, here we go. Now the, uh, now the uh, virtual machine is full screen. And so let's just go ahead and I'm actually going to leave this up for the tech support scammer. So where I get my tech support scams, get scam numbers from is um, I'm part of a Discord group called Scammer Sub Lounge. It's the one that Lewis Tech, who is uh, pretty famous for doing tech support trolling, is a member of. So we're just going to go to Scammer Numbers, and we're just going to call these numbers. Um, first of all, let's go to this website, hxxp colon slash slash Microsoft Air Force site. Um, let's just move this to my other monitor. And Hello. Yeah, let's move this to my other monitor, and we're just going to open up Internet Explorer. Now, notice I actually do have Chrome installed, but for all intents and purposes, I'm going to use Internet Explorer. And, you know, I'll give this thing 512 megabytes of RAM, and for those of you who don't know, that's actually like a really low amount of RAM to give to a computer. So, this Windows XP probably won't run too well. So... Let's hope... Whoa, what the... Let's end this. And, and so, um, to make it appear like I have a virus-filled computer, not only do all these programs open at startup, um, Internet Explorer has like seven toolbars in it. I also installed a bunch of outdated stuff. So here's the deal. I'm going to pretend that I'm like 35 or 40 years old, right? I'm going to pretend that I became, you know, started using computers in the 90s when I was like probably around like 17 or 18 years old or 14 years old. And so I'm going to pretend like I'm a little bit stuck in the past. That That's why I have like AOL Messenger on here and all that kind of stuff and why I'm still running Windows XP and Word 2002 and stuff like that. I'll also have some modern stuff on here like Google Chrome because everyone's heard of Google Chrome right now. I installed some programs that are literally known viruses like Bonzi Buddy. In fact, let's open Bonzi Buddy real quickly and go to here. Uh, or not. Well, let's just minimize back to the desktop as soon as all this junk is done loading. And let's open up Monzi Buddy from the desktop because that actually works. And um, let's open up that. Let's get rid of this. And let's go ahead and uh, just click register. Okay. Oh, here's Monzi Buddy. Now official registered user of oh my Buddy. God. I'm an official registered hey, user of Bonzi let Buddy. Me tell you a little about my oh, shut up, dude. So, I was just checking in my YouTube comments real quickly. Alright, so back to tech support scammers world. So now that Internet Explorer, I guess, isn't open. I thought I opened Internet Explorer. Alright, so now just go to the homepage. 
Let's see how long inner here we go. My homepage, even though I have all this crap up here, is somehow still MSN.com. Hey Michael, did you know you can click on my tummy with your mouse button? Oh, in case you're wondering, I gave myself the fake name Michael. And so that's who I'm gonna go by in the uh, tech support skin.